I was lucky to find a few figures at Target here on, uh, what is today, uh, March 9th, no, 18th, um, so a little bit early, and so I thought I'd uh, go through these one by one so you see these in individual reviews, but uh, we'll take a look at all four of these figures as we go in the next few days. So here I'm going to look at Marion. Now, of course, this is a very rare card in the vintage ones. Um, her and Belloc both, which I found both of those today, which is pretty cool. Uh, the figure itself has become kind of rare, which is surprising. I don't remember how much I spent, maybe $15 back on mine. And it came virtually new back in the uh, 90s when I got mine. But um, we're going to open her up and compare her to the original. So here she is. Uh, and... The amazing thing on this is the recreation of the dress, because that's not something you just make a mold of. Um, this stays on better than my vintage one. Of course, my vintage one's been sitting around for a while, and so her dress likes to try and fall off. But this looks pretty darn good. I know there's a lot of people who would love to get this figure, who will probably be excited to finally have this figure. Now, for me, you know, the original came with two accessories. She came with the monkey and the stand. I didn't, didn't have the stand, didn't have the monkey. Always had the dress, but I finally have the monkey now because this, whoop, this is the monkey. Now, of course, there's two monkeys released in the vintage line. One came with the Streets of Cairo and this one. They're in two different poses, so it's kind of cool to be able to finally have this monkey. So how does she compare to the vintage one? Now, my vintage one has, you know, sat around. Her dress is a little dirtier. But I'd like to concentrate on that dress because I think that's where we're going to see a lot of differences. And, you know, the pattern is not exact. You can see the original is a little more lacy um, and the new one's a little fuller, if you will. So it's not an exact copy, um, which I didn't quite expect. But you can see it still looks very nice, but there are a lot of differences. Notice the original has a bow in the back as well. Whereas our new one does not have a bow. So that's another major difference to get there. Especially for people who try to scam by putting the new dress on the old one. Look for that bow, right? But on that, it's, you know, if we look at the faces and everything, it's the same. I wouldn't say the same mold because it's molded off the same, same figure here. But it is fairly identical there. So that is a look at the retro Indiana Jones Marion figure. Pretty awesome to get this one. 